Public school campuses and classrooms transform into havens for evacuation and sanctuaries for the displaced when calamity strikes even in the inner cities of Mega Manila. The sad and inevitable reality students face at any time of the year as the reinstatement to the old June to March calendar makes its comeback next school year and teachers call for better and faster connectivity to tackle hybrid learning as our Denise Osorio reports. Students are seemingly taking the end of the stick again as yet another change to the Philippine education system is set to take effect soon. As the academic year slowly shifts back to what the nation has been accustomed to, Quezon City Ways and Means Committee Chairperson Councillor Wensi Lagumbay expressed that moving the school calendar back to start again in June and end in March is not enough of a solution. Lagumbay stressed that students require better connectivity for conducive hybrid learning during the rainy season. Connectivity ang pinag-uusapan dyan. But since we're all in Metro Manila, kung mag, yung ating mga telcos would improve their signal, mas maganda, di ba? So we might as well use that, uh, that technology for, for such educational purposes. Teachers agree with going back to the old school calendar, according to Dr. Anthony John Elliorin, as they could adjust to hybrid learning where teaching or class lectures are both in classroom or in person and online. Dr. Elliorin added it would be better for them as instructors to adjust and adapt as to not affect their pupils' performances, then have students come to school on Saturdays to cope with the new calendar changes and weather disturbances. Magiging hybrid ang, ang mode ng uh, pag-aaral ng mga bata especially no in classes nila uh, mas okay kasi mas natutugunan yung pangangailangan ng mga bata Meanwhile, senior high school student Ken Ildefonso intuits how improvement in school performance could be aided by local government unit success in managing typhoon situations. Mas okay na yung um, mabigyan kami ng chance na makapunta uli sa school and na mamanage lang yung pag, kapag umuulan minsan, i-manage lang yun kaysa na papasok or pinipilit pumasok na sobrang init. On the other hand, Lagumbay also explained that schools still need to be utilized as evacuation centers because most cities still do not have adequate infrastructure to accommodate victims during natural disasters. Lagumbay emphasized that repair of infrastructures such as drainage systems and evacuation centers are necessary, but also stressed the importance of cooperation of citizens, especially in their disposal of waste to help mitigate the perennial flooding problem. The city councilor also called out to the youth for their cooperation as La Nina looms. Uh, sa ating mga kabataan na mahilig po mag-swimming, lalo-lalo na pag may baha, iwasan po natin yun. Alam naman po natin, kapag ito po ay napakaduming tubig, kung hindi naman po treated, eh huwag natin paglanguyan kasi nakakadulot po ng sakit. Denise Osorio from the National Television Network for a new and better Philippines.